know is snack rap. Speaking of killing the body, oh my god, I gotta wonder because you know, the, I got a daughter that has asthma, right? And um, you know, I like to push her, but the rest of the family would be like, Yo, yo don't be doing that, she got an asthma, yeah. But I feel like you know, you, you can overcome that if you right. learn to control it. Yeah. You had such a career with asthma, yeah. how how were you able to to to? To function and 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 be in a ring with these 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 people, Lennox were, Lewis, you know what I'm saying? Lennox Lewis, monsters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like let's go. And he was Foreman, oh, like George yeah. Foreman. That's crazy. How were you doing that with asthma? Oh uh, man, again, like I said, pain, pain. When I was a kid, I, I, I reason why I went. To people, people were like, yo, you went to private school. I went to private school because public school, I would have been in special ed because. I missed too many days of school. I missed so much school, I could always read really good, but like I told you my math skills was in the garbage. You know, by the boiler, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, so I would have been in not a good school, but in private school, my mom's paid $50 a month for me to go in 1975 to Risen Christ Lutheran School, 250 Blake Avenue, right across the street from Marcus. Baddest school in Brownsville. I went to the little mm -hmm. school right there for eight years, seven years. I went to 55 for one year. Went back to private school, you know what I'm saying? Because I was behind. I missed every winter of school. I lived in St. Mary's Hospital, or I was in Brookdale. Every winter from when it started getting cold, man, I lived in the hospital. I I can remember this is because as a, you asked me. Because of my, I, I remember. I could tell you. I mean, if you go into my like, I really know what the hospital ward was in St. John's Hospital. Down what became Interface. I could tell you. I remember going to school. In the school, I remember playing in the in the in the, in the uh, toy room. And when I'm back again, I'm back this year. Now I'm in St. Mary's this year. You know, so every year for me, it was harsh because I went back to school. People would laugh at me, talk about me. Now, what's what was deep was one time my school, my class came to visit me mm. in the hospital because I was always and everything. That so my mom was paying for me to go to the next grade mm. to get wow. me promoted. She was wow. paying for me. Out of pocket. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Promote my boy. Cry, beg. I loved her to death. She would get on the ground and cry to the teachers. Please, don't leave my boy back. They're going to laugh at him. They're going to laugh at him. You know what I'm saying? She didn't want me to be picked on. Because, you know, all you got left back. We was all in the same class. Mm -hmm. the, the first and the second. The third and the fourth. We didn't say, oh, you now you on that side of the room. Mm -hmm. So she, she, you know what I'm saying? I went to summer school. From first grade to eighth grade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, mean, you don't talk. I went to first grade. Yeah, right. I went to I went it was school all the time. I never did not go to to summer school. Right. I never had a summer where I every from first grade I went to summer school. Right. So for me, um, you know, the pain when I lost when I was evicted and, and all that and my, my trauma from school, kids laugh at you and this and that and shit. It was, it was my pain, the asthma, getting back to that, when I was in the hospital, people don't understand. Look, you could go without days and weeks without food and water, you know what I'm saying? But you can't go five minutes without air, you know what I'm saying? So when I have lost my oxygen in times when I thought I was going to die and the kid's a kid, I remember the trauma. You mm -hmm. never forget the trauma when you're about to die. This happened so many times as a kid. One time I ate shellfish. I can't eat shrimp and all that. I had an asthma attack, my eyes closed, I was going to die. But they said, if you ever eat shrimp or something like this again, you might not have another chance to breathe. So I had it so extreme that it caused me so much trauma. When I got into boxing and I would get tired, I would get scared. I, you know, I, you know, and it would make me so fast that I knocked everything out. Adrenaline. I used the adrenaline. I used my fear of getting tired. That's why I got... 38, 39 first round knockouts. Fight or flight. 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 Mm -hmm. I, I, would, I would be so scared that if it go into the third round, fourth round, yeah, I'm going to lose my breath. And I happen, it's happened to me. Mm -hmm. It's happened when I would lose my breath and... What fight was it? Uh, many fights. Mm -hmm. A few fights. I mean, when I, when I took my first L, my first loss, when I was fighting Dow Wilson, um, I was having an asthma attack. And self-induced or hyper-induced, cold-induced. You know, I had so I had cold-induced asthma. That's why I moved to Miami. Mm -hmm. After I took that first loss, mm -hmm. I was out with my life in shambles. Mm -hmm. Everybody turned their back on me. You gotta understand. I came up 
with a sick plan. My, my, the way my manager moved me was crazy. I was in Top Model Magazine, Vogue Magazine, Harper Bazaar. I was on BT so much you would have thought I was a rapper. You know what I'm saying? I was on every college show they had in the 90s. I was on everything BET related. You know what I'm saying? I had a, uh, a sick publicist. Because it was the making of a champion. Remember, right, Shannon right. Briggs, future heavyweight champion. Right. He went to Wall Street and raised $35 million. Got it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got it. Off a kid from Brownsville. That's from the same neighborhood as Mike Tyson and Riddick Bowe. It'll sound good when I sell it on Wall Street. Mm-hmm. He had a plan. I got a plan. I'm going to Brownsville with people suffering from pain. And I'm going to get one of them kids and say, yo, don't go to jail. Go to the gym. And he's going to be the next champion. And then I'm going to get another girl that do that. And then another kid. And we're going to have five champions. But more importantly, we're going to get Gat Murder. We're going to get you. We're going to get you. And you're going to learn the business and say, I'm going to invest. And then we're going to have 20 Mayweathers and, and future mm-hmm. champions. You get what I'm saying? Right. Because there's a science to this shit. And it's really simple. Mm-hmm. Eat, train, eat, train, fight, eat, train, sleep, train, eat, fight, yeah. train, sleep, train, fight, train. Focus and you're gonna get paid. It's real simple. It's really that simple. If you don't do that, you're not gonna get paid. Right. You train hard. Now you, if look, if you go and you fight dogs, if you fight dogs and you take pit bulls, you raise them mm-hmm. and you fight dogs, they go do that. People do it for money or whatever, right? And they mm-hmm. they love those dogs. You see how people raise them dogs? How they know mm-hmm. everything? What they what they eat? What they you know? What I'm saying right. they love. They breed these dogs to fight. And when we breed, fight, we breed fighters too. Mm-hmm. If you bred Mike Tyson's and all these fighters, you're gonna have champions. They're gonna be fight dogs. They're gonna go and win. And guess what? You're gonna make so much money. I am trying to introduce that to the gangs, to the thugs, to everybody. Yo, don't do that. Don't go to jail. To the don't go to jail. Don't don't fight. Right. You like to fight. You're gonna have to fight in right. jail. Right. You're gonna have to fight. That's the thing of jail, right? They gotta fight, right? For free. For free. <laughs> now you can take that same energy and become a boxer and get paid for it. That's right. Live a good life. Prize I was homeless. I was sleeping on the D train, the A train. You know what I'm saying? I was broke. I was sleeping in the gym. I was sleeping in the couch. I, I couch people couch anywhere I could sleep. And then I made money. I got a big house, cars, a beautiful wife, three beautiful kids. You know what I'm saying? I live in the suburbs, gated community, gated community. You can't get in, you got to call. You know what I'm saying? Right. I went from living from nothing to something because of a sport that I wasn't even supposed to be in. I'm asthmatic. Yeah. I was so scared to do this shit. When I used to go into the ring sometimes, my legs used to be shaking like this, I told you. And I'd be like, damn, I hope you don't look down and see my legs. But I was scared because, like Smooth said, we said earlier, my life, I didn't even know why I was so scared. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the ring is, it's lights, camera, action. Mm-hmm. I seen people say, I can't do it. Tuck their tail and go home. Right. I'm mm-hmm. talking about in the dressing room. Mm-hmm. Can't do it. <laughs> so, yeah. Can't do it, yeah. champ. Say, yeah. no, wait, no. No, I can't do it, champ. Right. What you mean? I'm can't good. do it, champ. I ain't got it. Nah, bro, you got to get fight time. Got to leave. Fight canceled. Wow. Can't do it. Night before the fight. Mm-hmm. People say, I got to do it. Pack, get a bag, go home, never fight again. It take a lot. Some people say, I'd rather go to jail and do these 10 years, man, than during one night of fighting. Of one, not even. Five minutes, 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> three of rounds, your, three yeah, rounds. Because it's hard, champ. Three you could rounds. be a super thug, pull out a gun, get busy with a knife, do all mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. But going up them stairs in front of the people There's watching. another level. Mm-hmm. Because you're, you never know the embarrassment. Right, right. Yo, right. champ. I've lost, when I lost my first fight, I had people, people, now you gotta understand, this ain't like basketball, boxing, I mean, basketball, football, when you lose, team sport, team sport everybody lose. You when lose. I lose, you lose. You I lose. lose. Yeah, yeah, my right. trainer, I had a trainer, when I lost, he was like, oh, he lost. But when I was winning, we won. Mm-hmm. Facts. Right. We winning, we won. But That's when I lost, I he lost. It was mm-hmm. his fault. Lonely mm-hmm. sport. It's a lonely, lonely sport. Lonely so, sport. it take a lot, man. To, to, to know when I was winning, everybody loved me. When I lost, man, I'm telling you, man, you should have seen how they treated me, champ. You wouldn't believe it, bro. What was the, what, wor- what was what was the like worst lo- experience? Losing the belt. What was it like losing the belt? This hot for trap, trap, 
turn smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rapper.